So you're studying for the SAT Math Level 2 Subject Test. You've come to the right place. I'm Dan from WeWillTeachYouMath.com. Guys, when you're using these videos to study, make sure you pause the video at the beginning when the problem first comes on the screen and try it on your own. Most of your practice should be done this way, actively and independently. Then, if after you try the problem on your own, you still find it tricky, that's when you watch the video explanation. In fact, you can use any resources that you have available to you to try to figure it out so that the next time a similar problem comes your way, you'll be ready. Enjoy, and thanks for watching. 24, if f of x equals 1 over secant x, then which of the following is true? Well, what is secant x? Secant x is 1 over cosine x. So 1 over secant x is 1 over 1 over cosine x. That's messy. Which is cosine x, right? Because this pops up into the numerator of the whole fraction. So f of x is just cosine x. And cosine x is what's called an even function. And by definition, an even function, this is actually, A is actually the definition of an even function. It takes in, regardless of if it takes in x or negative x as its input, it puts out the same output. So A is the perfect definition of an even function. C is the definition of an odd function. And a good example of an odd function is sine x but this is secant and and cosine is even so secant is just the reciprocal of cosine so that's still even sine would be odd cosecant would be odd um, these other ones that take reciprocals and change signs you can test these none of these are gonna work um, I guess another way to do this as well would be to graph 1 over secant x in your calculator which is again essentially it's just cosine x so you could graph that and when you do, you'll see that the graph of cosine looks kind of like this, right? But as you go over into negative territory, it continues in that direction as well. And it's symmetrical about the y-axis. And any graph which is symmetrical about the y-axis is an even function. And A is the definition of an even function. So that's why it's A. Hi, thanks for watching. If anything's still confusing or you need a little extra help, drop me an email, leave a comment, or give me a call. I answer every message. And if you want to check out more videos like this, visit wewillteachyoumath.com. See you in the next video.